evangelist James Nanga is expected in court today of an accusation of defrauding a businessman 3.6 million shillings. Nanga was taken to the central police station on Wednesday and released on a police warrant the same day to a big court today. Mel Miendo is at the Milimani Law Courts. Mel, what can you tell us? Gladys, all the information you've just rightly said has been confirmed by the OCPD from the central police station. That's Stanley Atavachi. I was able to speak to him a little earlier today at about 11, 12 uh, a.m. and p.m. Uh, this, this morning and this afternoon. And so when we spoke, he said that yes, Pastor James Nyanga was at the central police station on Wednesday and then he was released on a police bond. I was not able to get just the amount that was used for that, but it, that's exactly what happened. Uh, and so that was Wednesday and then he was told to come to the court today, which is Friday and he's still not here. So there's possibly an expectation that he may not come uh, to court today. Perhaps there's an issue that has been dealt with together with his lawyers. Remember last time the issue has been ongoing. This person has been a person of interest, uh, the televangelist James Nanga. And before we've seen him being represented by criminal lawyer Cliff Ometa, I was able to speak to Cliff and he said he is not representing the televangelist for this specific case. And so I'm not quite sure who his lawyers are, uh, but for that specific lawyer, he will not be representing James Nanga in this case. And so speaking about the fraud issue, it's 3.6 million shillings. Uh, we had seen earlier some reports, especially online, uh, speaking about 5.5 million or 5 million, but it is actually 3.6 million. And from what I've been able to gather from the OCPD Central Police Station is that this money was with regard to the televangelist James Nanga and a Mr. Njoroge who is a businessman. So the issue is about leasing of houses. And so that's where the 3.6 million shillings fraud has come about. And so it is the businessman, Mr. Njoroge, who came uh, and asked and reported this issue to police. And so that's why uh, the televangelist was taken to the police station. So currently we're not yet sure just how that will go um, because we've not seen him. Nimerudi tena. Ningetaka kujua ni utamu gani mnasikia nyingi watu wa mbivi ya kutaja jina la Nganga. Mnasikia utamu gani? What do you want after Nganga? Kila mtu akiamka ni biusi ni Nganga. Nganga yuko jela, Nganga amefanya hii amefanya hii. Mnasikia utamu gani? Jina la Nganga. Basi nitawapatia hiyo Nganga kama mnaitaka. Wewe unadanganya wa Kenya ni uko jela. Juice imesema nimeenda kujifungia msituni. Nikiombea nini? Niombe hiyo mambo ya ujinga ujinga hiyo mko nayo. Sasa unadanganya wa Kenya ati nganga ameimba milioni tano, nganga yuko amefungwa. Wewe chunga akili yako. Chunga akili yako. Eh? Chunga akili yako. Kama hutachunga, I promise you the same again. Na ningetaka nao serikali ya Kenya iangalie why nganga? Why nganga? Why nganga? Why nganga? Ningetaka wale mko kwa mamlaka. Why nganga? Why nganga? Why? Kila mtu akitaka kujibudisha kuongea kisundu ni nganga. My news, my kicker tonight is nganga. Everybody want to kicker tonight. Kicker yourself. Rubbish. In Jesus name, I rebuke you.